So Qatar Expo 2023, I think this will be the first time I'm not volunteering in a, such a global event. I don't know why, maybe <coughs> I just have a lot going on with me. So I just feel like, you know, I need a little bit of time and still, I'm still tired from the World Cup. You know, World Cup was massive and, you know, it was so stressing. I was all over the place. Anyways, my name is Malik Stelle and if this is your first time watching my YouTube channel or if this is your first time visiting my channel, kindly make sure to press on that red notification button down there. Please subscribe for us, leave a comment. Let's get conversative on um, Instagram or wherever that, or we can even get conversative in the comment section. So today we are here to talk about the Expo 2023. I know, I know I'm late, but probably not late. So we can still talk about this. So I've been able to fish out a few websites that are, you know, currently recruiting, like jobs are being posted over there to recruit for the upcoming Expo um, 2023. Now this is a global event to, you know, to invite about 80 countries to come showcase their uh, innovations and culture and, you know, exchange, blah, blah 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 yeah i'm not here to talk about the event itself so i'm just here to talk about the jobs that comes with such events so uh, i'm going to record my screen over here my laptop is right here so i'm just going to record my screen and uh, show you this website uh, this video is not going to be any um any lengthy or any sort of that so quickly let's get into it i have about two websites here they kind of have similar jobs but who knows you might try from this side or try from the other side and boom you get um, a job offer so now this program is going to run for six months that is from 2nd of october to um march that is next year 2020 2024 right so now this brings me back to one thing that most people have not noticed but i've noticed because i'm smart you know people with higher card will have to leave qatar by January 2024, right? But since Expo is still going to be here till March 2024, means all the people who came here with higher card are still going to be here until March. I mean, because people will still come to Qatar with a higher card or maybe with a tourist visa. Oh, could that be the reason why they just introduced the tourist visa? So, well, I don't know. We are not here to talk about that. But just a random thought that came to mind. Like, okay, so if the Expo is going to run until March 2023, 2024 then this means that people with higher card can still maybe who knows they might up, up, uh, update the system because yeah, this is what qatar is known for they keep updating their system all the time and i think it's nice because almost every time they update it they come with something sweet they come with something um you know nice for people to um, for people who want to live in qatar and i think now coming to qatar has been made easier way way easier than before because yo trust me way back when we wanted to come here man it was a hell of you know a struggle to make it and to come to Qatar. It was really difficult. But here in the case, it's been made easier for you and other people out there. But today I spoke to one of my trusted sources, like one of the agents that I've been working with for um, quite some time now. I asked him if he has any offers. And he said, no, Qatar is very slow. I'm like, Qatar is very slow. I seen does it does that mean that agents are losing their jobs and people are now able to work on things on their own? I don't know just let me know in the comment section so now this is the website um this one is onekatajobs.com slash forward expo jobs underscore or whatever so yeah this is the screen i'm recording it and um it has some some jobs over here um some of them are skilled jobs some of them are also not skilled like some of them are not skilled jobs so you can just go through them from accounting so this one was posted on the 12th um, of april that is just about few days ago so on the 12th of april 2023 this one says accountant so um you can just play around it see if you can um, apply for it so the second one was uploaded or posted on the um, 25th of march this one says metal architecture works in qatar so so there are quite um, some qualifications you just need to go through them uh, if i want to go through all of them it's going to be quite lengthy so i'll just leave the link in the description box so if you want to try it out you can just uh, go through it this one says Pro uh, project manager um, fit out so let's look for something smaller something smaller for you know non-skilled people hr coordinator logistics uh leasing consultant outdoor sales associate and printing okay still river customer service also okay so customer service is kind of you know you don't need any big qualification to work as a customer service you just need to um have the love to self to serve people and to talk to people know how to talk to people mm. kitchen sales representative uh, ac technician okay i have a few friends who might want to apply for this um job over here so 
um, this is what this um, website has to offer us. Let's check the other website. Now I got this um, website from Julian Barbara. So yeah, you can check her YouTube channel out. She's really doing well. You can subscribe to her channel as well. Julian Barbara. Yeah. So yeah, this is the website she sent me. I think she, she has already made um, a video on this. So if you don't get much information from here, you can also check from her. And also she's been making videos about uh, how to apply for a job in Qatar Airways. So if you have uh, any interest to join the aviation world you can also hop onto her channel and um, don't forget to subscribe as well so yeah so on this other website um it's qatar job job finder qatar job finder.com slash for a tag blah 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 so they also have some jobs over here and even for them they've been able to categorize all the jobs so like from accountant finance administration management uh, architects uh, art and design cleaning okay so let's check the cleaning and the construction jobs because i think okay is it an ad let's close this ad okay so male and female um cleaners so a well-reputed cleaning company in doha is looking for the below positions female cleaners male cleaners interested candidates will uh, with noc send there so does that mean with this they are recruiting locally well i don't know but even they have their phone numbers here so uh, if you're outside Qatar, you just need to add the 007974, um, right? That is the country code for Qatar. So you can just check it out. So this one also says, yeah, with NOC, I think. Professional CV builder, no, we're not looking for this. Cleaners, cleaners. Okay, okay. So this is the website. You can check it out. And, um, the salaries, oh, the salary is starting from 1299 per month. That's okay, because now Qatar is difficult to end or to land yourself a job. So if you find something like this, I think it's kind of reasonable. So you can just um, check them and, you know, go through it, female, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so let's see, let's see. So they have some jobs over here. Safety jobs are here, law, legal, IT, hospitality. Let's check the hospitality. Maybe they might have some hotel jobs. Okay, fashion advisor, bellboy. Okay, is this local? Okay, so this one says bellboy required in M Grand um, Hotel Doha, Qatar. Minimum two years experience in three or four star hotel. Fluent in English and Arabic language. Okay, Arabic language is preferred. Salary, why didn't they mention the salary? So, anyways, so you can just go through this website and make sure to apply them as soon as possible because we have barely four to five months to October, you know, because the event is going to begin on, on October. And I think this will be the second um, biggest global event um, held in Qatar here, I think, because um, if you have about 80 countries representing, ooh, this is big. I, I should even say this is even bigger than the World Cup, but I mean, nothing overcomes um, football, you know. Yeah, so anyways, my name is Malik Sterling, and um, if, you, if, you, if you are interested in some of these jobs, you can go ahead and um, check them out and... Um, don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel uh, let's get conversative and i love you all stay stay safe if you happen to be if you happen to be in qatar just um dm me let's see if we can find some time meet somewhere eat something drink something catch up with some time you know uh, what is what is what is life without you know catching up with friends or catching up with subscribers anyways stay safe and uh, this will be the end of today's video bye bye